Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney. I'm located in upstate New York. Today I'd like to answer the question, what are the mitigating factors? I've done a video prior, what are the aggravating factors? So today I'd like to talk about what are the factors of a criminal case that can actually be in your favor? Remember, in any criminal case, there's mitigators and aggravators. Aggravators make things worse, mitigators make things better. As I like to put it, mitigators can turn down the volume in a criminal case. And there's two ways that we use mitigation in a criminal case. Number one, we could use it for plea bargaining. Either the charge itself could be changed to a downgraded charge within the same charge. You know, that's where you get a third or a second or a first degree of something, or it could be used to actually change the charge from a one classification like a felony to a misdemeanor classification or a misdemeanor classification to a violation classification. And those are used jumps. The second way a mitigator can be used is in sentencing to say, in this particular case with this particular person, because of these particular reasons, we feel the punishment should be less. Punishment less in terms of lesser fines or lesser time to have to comply with certain conditions or having less conditions to comply with. Those are all ways to use mitigators within a criminal case. The mitigators in a criminal case could be number one, was there any harm done? Was there any harm done to people? Or was there any harm done to property? In other words, were there any damages? In the case of a DWI, was there any property damage? Was there an accident? If there was an accident, were any people involved? That's the first thing. If there weren't, that needs to be pointed out. Secondly, in a DWI type of case, is this a person that has a job? Has this person been employed regularly? Do they work at a job that has sensitive information? Do they handle people, social security numbers, email addresses, sensitive financial information because would that affect their ability to remain employed if they were to have a misdemeanor or felony on their record? Another potential mitigator is going to be whether you've had any prior offenses to this offense. Do you have a prior criminal history? Do you have any prior history whatsoever? Do you have any prior drinking or drug-related activity? Another potential mitigator, do you have any mental problems or drug problems that you're now addressing? If you can show that you're now addressing a problem, the court is more likely to want to go along with a sentence that doesn't involve jail. Or it may involve a sentence that doesn't involve jail but may just involve probation. Or we may go from probation to just a conditional discharge. So these are the type of factors that we're going to look at to see if we can mitigate the case in your favor, lessen punishment, lessen potential consequences. If you have any questions about your criminal case or personal injury case in upstate New York, please give me a call. This is what I do. Be more than happy to answer your questions.